Hello, uh, right now I'm just going to do a really quick lipstick tutorial and um, maybe something else, I'm not sure. Uh, so I just took my hair out of curlers, they've been rolled up in pin curls all night, and that's not the wet curls that you roll around your finger and s flatten down, it's when you um, actually go in with a hair, you know, iron curler and curl it and then pin it in a big loop. Um, so I had all my hair in that and it came out like this. Um, and you can do anything with this hairstyle. You can pin it back, you can, you know, put it up, you can do a lot of things with it. Um, but let me get on to the lipstick. So I usually just use a little hand mirror. And um, these are the things that you will need to complete this, the way that I do it at least. Um, I use just a regular little Burt's Bees chapstick to moisten my lips before that, before I put on the lipstick. And then I use this lip plump, not to make my lips plumper, but to use it as like kind of a concealer, lip concealer. And then the lipstick I'm going to use today is I Am Trevor by Masumi Max in Winter Red, which is a basic dark red. So first, put on some chapstick. By the way, I'm listening to Beyonce because I love Beyonce, especially her new song, Around the World. I think it's the best. I don't actually own any of her CDs or anything, but I like all her stuff that comes on the radio. I've been with her since Destiny's Child, so... So, um, you let the chapstick just kind of settle in for a minute, and then you put on just a few dabs of this stuff. This is by Benefit, by the way. You just put on one, two, three, four. Wait just two seconds, and then kind of dab it and spread it around at the same time. And I, I have lots of freckles just around the base and the top of my lip, so that's why I, I really like to use this lip plump stuff, because otherwise it just looks a little weird. So if you put on too much of this, it'll get really gummy and not really allow the lipstick to spread around easily. And if you put too little, it really won't work. Um, so you just get a normal amount, just whatever's on the, the little applicator already. And if there's too much on there, just wipe a bit off and just put a few dabs. Okay, so I apply my lipstick with a paintbrush, a really thin paintbrush. I'm not sure what size this is. Oh, it says SG-255 by Soft Grip. This is a number four. It's really, really thin, um, but not, not super thin, like, a, I don't know, for intricate painting. But, uh, so yeah, I use this, take the lipstick, and just grab the color from there. I usually double up both sides of a the little paintbrush, but I always go back in and get more. And so, um, I usually do my lips in kind of a 40s cut, um, a little bit true to how my lips are already. I just kind of follow the lines and go where I want to go. Um, I'm going to start with the bottom, just line the bottom with this. Alrighty, and just grab some more. You probably have to just keep going back and forth with the lipstick and the brush, just grabbing it. So I'll just hold it right here. And just spread it in. And there's a light layer on the bottom. Now I've aligned the top, and the top is really where you get that 40s cut. So I'm just following the outside, just the sides of my top lip, from the top to the bottom. Okay. Sounds like Beyonce is just going to play over and over. I hope you guys don't mind. Okay, and now I'm just going to kind of swoop inwards from this line. Not just go around in a heart shape like my lips do. 
So basically lining just the inside of my lips. The inside of the line of my lips. I'm not really sure the technical terminology, but just watch. See? And that creates a really nice V look. And then you just fill it in. Alright, and so here's the V, and if that's too deep for you guys, you can just bring it in naturally to where the dimple of your lips come in, just to make it look a little more natural. Fix the top here. And that's pretty much it. You're done. Um, I don't know if you guys have lipsticks that have like the the double applicator where it's the color and then the thing on top. Um, but just do it how you normally would. This is basically just for the shape. And uh, I'm sure you guys know if you want fuller lips to kind of gloss the inside and bring your lipstick outside. Um, there's a whole bunch of different tricks if you guys want fuller or thinner lips. I'm not sure if anyone would want thinner lips, but there's that. Um, I don't know what I'll do with my hair, but I'll be doing another update video for you guys in a little bit, and maybe you'll see what I did. Alright, thanks for watching.